secondary gear and how I can find it. Okay, I legendary know, gear. And, oh, by the way. Yes, I know some information about it where you, we can fusing and combine, but I don't get it well. So. Okay, you and a lot of other people. Okay, uh, but that's a nice easy one that I can explain okay. to you. I just want to ask you one thing. Is it okay if I record this session? Yes, yes. Because you might ask you might ask questions that other people can benefit from. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, that's okay. Yes. And that's because always nice when, when I can I, help. I, yes, I tried to find this answer in YouTube, but uh, I didn't find exactly what I want. Well, mm. this is often yeah. also a problem in in the game um, because things change. But legendary gear is very important, and I'll explain. Why? Let me just log in. I'm going okay. to log into an account with some legendary gear. I have access to a couple of alts, um, okay. but this one I will make sure nobody can see my login. Yeah. I might okay. have to do a little bit of, yeah, because I don't want to share okay. that in a video. <laughs> yes. Yes, so let's see. Yes. <laughs> okay, so let me log okay. in. Okay. Now, obviously, um, one of the latest changes has been the login. I don't know if you've noticed, but in the actual mm. game, they've chose they've changed how you log in. So when you go in on your PC, you log mm -hmm. in with your password and your email, and then mm -hmm. you get to choose your game. And there are other Plarium games, but we're looking at Vikings War of Clans, okay? Uh -huh, okay. And because then... I don't use laptop, so I don't find this thing. I just use my laptop. Okay, so that's yes. important because I can only stream from yes. my laptop, of course. However, yes, yes. when you go in on your phone, um, yes. you've only got the one account on your phone. And your phone can only play one account. You yes. can switch between accounts on your yes. phone, but it you means told me. you have told this, me yeah, yes. Yes. yeah. That I mean, that. It, uh, you only <laughs> need to do that if you're wanting to play alts, uh, which are alternative accounts like um, banks and the like. So we'll just stick to the main account. So you go to your phone, you click on the Vikings icon, and yes. you wait for it to log in. Hopefully to a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's what you're always looking for. Yes. I'm stuck on 98 at the moment, so. Yes. <laughs> but I am streaming, so that slows down my connection a little bit. Um, let's mm. see what comes up. Okay. Uh, come on, Plarium. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me get rid of this yeah. notification. It's a good idea to get rid of your notifications and to check your notifications too, because for example, oh look, connection error. Yeah. Game connection socket failed. Thanks, Plarium. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me get rid of that. See if I can restart and see what happens. If it happens again, we'll go in another way. There's always more than one way to get into the game. Let me kill the music here because I might have killed yes. your voice. Now I can hear yeah. you. <laughs> Excellent. Good, good, good. Yep, yeah, that's my yeah. fault. Okay, so when you log in, you close off the music. <laughs> Yes, you switch it off because it's that. annoying. I do that. Okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. And then you're confronted with the bank offer, which you can close unless you want to spend money in the game, which you don't have to. Um, and then you do your daily tasks. That's your, yes. um, yeah, that you should do that basically every day because yes, these do. daily tasks give you free stuff. So you go to the bank, you click your bank offer, which I've already done yeah, today, yeah, and I you agree. claim your free stuff. And that includes yeah. Loki, yeah. that includes your yeah, like that. tasks. <laughs> okay, yeah. so let's get to gear. Okay, so oh. when, when you're in your phone account, you normally probably go to the menu and go to the hero, yes. yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, bear with me whilst I fiddle around. So there's the hero. Now, Knight's got a mixture of gear on, you can see. Okay. It's all legendary gear, but he hasn't got a full set of yielding gear. He's still collecting. He needs the boots, the Centurion's Calcius, and he needs another Centurion's ring. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's all legendary. And it's really important because yeah. only legendary gear gives you, and I'll show you this, four slots, okay? These are empty, Knight hasn't filled them. These are partially filled, 
And there's three for um, gems and one for runes. I don't have any runes. It's very sad. Okay, but only legendary gear has four slots. Because if okay. you look, this is epic gear. Yeah. I didn't make it, by the way. This is epic gear. And here, not available. There's no slot for runes. And if you go down, I haven't got anything that rubbish, but if you get, I don't think. Have I got any really old stuff? No, if you go down, you'll find lower level gear has only got two slots and the very low level gear has only got one slot. So the, impo the real importance of legendary gear is it gives you better bonuses and it gives you the extra slots for the gems and the runes you need to increase those bonuses. Okay, yes. for example, here I've got an emerald. That yes. emerald is only epic, yes. plus two and a half percent energy restoration. Peridot, only rare, plus yes. 150. Okay, the difference so how, between... how do you get le legendary and you have epic and, and rare? And the other, okay. uh, it's in between. I didn't get this. Yeah, okay. The Let's look at the gear first. You go... You can't make gear here. You can't make gear in the hero's abode. You can wear it, you can change it, you can make sets, but you can't make gear. You have to go to your forge. And you can get to the forge a couple of ways. You can get to it from here, uh, somewhere. There's the workshop, there's the forge. So through the menu, you can get to it. You can also get to it through your town. So yes. if you go to into your town and somewhere you'll have built a forge. Yes. I have no idea oh. where I've built it here, but it's somewhere. Oh, here you go. There you go. There's my forge. Okay. Uh, and in your forge, whenever you claim your tasks, let me just claim that. Boing. Okay. So when you do your tasks, you get materials. Okay. When you do premium tasks, you get materials and gems. Okay, clan tasks, yes. you get materials and loyalty points. Personals, you get materials. Okay, so let's just show this. I'll apply one. Yes. And if you claim it bit by bit, you'll see materials. Yes, I, yeah. yes, I know that. Yeah, claim. Yeah, lots of resource, bronze, manuscript. And it depends. It's it's like gambling in a way. It, it, you don't know what you're going to get when you press the button. Claim all. And there you go. I've got some materials, glass, feather, etc. Where do those materials go? They go into your forge. Yes. And they're under the materials tab. So here they all are. So you also get materials when you kill invaders. OK, now, depending on the invader you're killing, depends on the gear it will drop, on the materials it will drop. OK, so, for example, at the moment, night is looking for the centurion to turn up because he's got four pieces of centurion gear to waiting to be made okay so when i go back into the forge let me see what centurion material he's got you can look at your materials in a list or on tiles okay yeah. um currently i'm saving these two for tebow the rings achievement. So I'm not going to merge them. But if you look at the cotton here, I've got some cotton, mm -hmm. but it says simple. Simple, yes, right. Simple materials make simple gear. Simple gear is rubbish. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here I've got some blue gear. Oh, it's rare. Rare materials make rare gear. Rare gear mm -hmm. is rubbish you getting the idea <laughs> if i go down oh there's some epic yeah epic epic materials make epic gear epic gear is okay but you want legendary so what you're looking for is to make legendary gear i'm not sure if i've got any no i haven't so let's see if i can make some to make better materials you merge them you combine them I do it all okay, the time. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Good, 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 good. So you combine them. Don't combine those two. Don't combine elixir and diamonds because you'll need those for your Tebow achievement and you can make mm. 
simple Tebow rings oh. and get gold. Okay, so I'm only going to do these ones. And as you combine them, it will make better materials. Okay, so you just have, have to. As you... and rare. Yes, sometimes we have a uh, one legendary and the uh, two epic or three rare. Okay, and I'll show. Yes. I'll show you the danger in a minute. Um, okay, I'm not sure where I am with my because the centurion hasn't been for a while. So I'm not sure where I am with my centurion gear, but let's have a look. So once you've got your materials merged, yeah, you go to equipment. Equipment is where you make your gear. So for equipment, think gear, okay? Uh, standard equipment is stuff you can make from standard materials. That's the materials you get from your um, tasks and from farming normal tiles. OK, then you have mm. invaders equipment, invaders equipment you get from killing invaders and each invader drops different equipment, uh, diff different materials. So centurions drop the materials knight needs for centurion gear. OK, and only centurion gear will only centurion materials will make centurion gear. So let me have a look. I'm going to look for the, the gear that I need. Okay, you can look in stock to see what you've got. So I've got the helmet, I've got the armor, I've got the ring. Uh, what else? I've got something else, I'm sure. Thought I had anyway. Armor. Oh, the dagger. So I've got those four pieces. So I need the boots. So go back from stock, which is what you've got, into equipment, which is what you want to make. Go to Invaders Equipment and look for the boots. So you've got helmets, armor, weapons. I've got those three. Boots. And then you have to look for the Centurion's Calcius. There it is. And the reason that Knight wants Centurion's Calcius is its resource yielding speed. Okay. Now, it shows he's got the materials to make the centurion's calcius but when i click on it annoyingly mm. i could make i've got legendary laurel leaves can you see that's yes. legendary yes. it's gold i've mm -hmm. got legendary copper ingots gold yeah i've got legendary whatever it is cloth linen cloth i think gold but i yes. haven't got legendary diamond no. I'm one diamond away from legendary. So can I make a legendary diamond? Look at that and tell me if you think I can make a legendary diamond. I think yes, when you combine it, isn't it? You think yes or you know yes? I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, because sometimes sorry. We... <laughs> okay, how do you know how many how many materials does it take to uh, four, increase? Four, four. No, that, if you have three, that's you it. Can't. You can't. We should have. Yeah. Four. yeah. So, yes. but <laughs> if you look down here, I have got mm -hmm. lesser materials. So let's go and have a look at the diamonds. By the way, I've been saving this for you. <laughs> I had a feeling you might ask about gear. <laughs> okay, so you go back into the forge. Okay, so there's a lot of clicking between the different things. You, you need to know your way around the board, but you're doing fine. You seem to know what you're doing. Go to materials. Now, it was diamond I needed. So I'm going to go into here. Now, there's a slight problem because I want those diamonds for the rings however i've got 11 of the whatever they are um can't remember i'll have to go to tiles i've got 11 diamonds. usual diamonds yeah. so i don't i still don't want to use these okay uh, but i have got 11 of these so i'm going to combine them how many do you think i should make and what level do you think it will be um 
I've got 11 usual. 11. Let's have four, a look. No, four, four, three. Okay. By using eight of them, I will get two unusual. Mm. So I'm going to do it. Combine. <gasps> oh. Okay, now that means I've got six unusual diamonds. If I combine them, what am I going to get? Two. One. <laughs> Only oh one. God. I'd need eight. <laughs> I'd need eight to get two. Okay. But it does tell you. If you notice here, it says result of combining yes, four, four diamond, diamond unusual, diamond. one diamond one. rare. So I'm going yes. to get a rare one. Will this be enough? Oh, I know it's so tense. So now I look for my rare. In fact, I'm going to go to the list because it's easier. There's my, oh no, look. Three, two, three, three. Uh, what do I do? What do I want most? Do I want to make rings or do I want to make that gear? I want to make that gear. So I'm going to sacrifice some of my simple diamonds. And I'm going to combine. I don't need 11. Okay. I think, yeah. let me just think, I need one. I need two because I need to make four. Of, yeah. Uh, no, I need one. I need five. Okay. Five, I need five because I want to make two to make two. Yourself. One. Yeah. One, then I've got one. Two. Then I've got one. Then I've got one. Okay. <laughs> So you have to do a bit of mental arithmetic. So I've got 45. I want to make eight so that I can then have four, 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 four. It's like a knock on effect. So I'm not going to combine them all, but I'm going to make eight. OK. <gasps> Duff. OK, so now I'm going to make eight. Combine. Oh, I just left it. Never mind. Um, then I've got four. How many will I make okay. if I combine them? One diamond Yes. Yeah. Now I've got four. How many will I make? One. Yep. And now I've got four epic. What am I going to do? One. I'm going to make a legendary. Yes. Four, four epic. There it yes. is. Four. Yeah. There it is. And I made a bit of a mistake because I shouldn't have had anything left here. OK, but it means that from now on, I'm going to have to collect more diamonds at this low level. But it's OK. They do come quite quickly if you do tasks. OK, so I'm not too worried. OK, then you have to go. Oh, sorry. You have to go back to your equipment. And that's when you have to remember what you're going to make. OK, so sometimes it's worth writing it down and writing down the materials you need. Okay, so Invader's Equipment, and it yes. was the Boots, okay, and it was the Calcius down at the bottom here. And if you remember, I needed a Legendary Diamond. What should we have? Legendary Diamond. So now, if you look, the chances of getting a certain type of equipment, Legendary, 100%. If I'd done that with that epic, it would have been 60%, 40%. So I'd have had a 60% and I don't gamble. I do not gamble. I spend too much time collecting these materials to gamble them. I'm very annoyed with a plarium at the moment, but we won't go into that. So I've got four pieces of legendary equipment. Um, sorry, legendary materials, and I'm going to make a piece of legendary gear. And I'm going, I could create it using silver and boosts, but as you can see, I've got a lot of gold, so I'm going to use gold. I'm just going to create it and it's instant, but that's a choice you make. You have a look how much silver, you have a look how much time, and then you decide, oh, stuff it. Yeah, I, I normally do. So. <laughs> but don't sacrifice your last gold on this. Be patient because in 15 hours I could wait and have it. But anyway, this is a this is a demonstration. So create. And it shows here it's been completed. So now when I go to my hero and I click on the boots. Ah, ta -da! OK, and that means. 
yeah, I have the chance now to click and equip. Okay, and eventually I can go through my gems and runes and see if I can improve the resource yielding speed. And by the way, that's what I'm looking for. This total defense, useless. I mean, honestly, on a tile, forget it. In your fort, forget it. It's not defending gear. This is resource yielding gear. Learning speed, there's better, but if it's all you've got, it's okay. But there's better learning gear out there. But this is good for resource yielding. Okay, and when you've got four pieces, all I need now is a ring. Ah! Do you reckon I could make a ring? I know I can't, but let's have a look. So you go to equipment, you think, I just need a ring. And a ring is an amulet. Okay, and you need two of them. It's a pain. So again, it's invader's equipment. Okay, yep. So you scroll down till you find it. There it is. Oh gosh, what do you reckon? Have I got any hope? Maybe. Let's have a look. No. <laughs> now, leather strips. Yeah. I, and this is what I meant. You've got 43% chance of legendary, 57% chance of getting a rubbishy piece of um, unusual gear. Okay. I'm not going to go. Rare gear. I mean, I'm not going to do it. It might sound good, but it's useless because if I made it, I wouldn't have the slots for the gems and the runes and I wouldn't have the better um, percentage for yielding so I'm going to wait and what I've got to do is wait for I think it's Avarin, Ubers or the Centurion to turn up and then I go and hit them hit them hit them hit them and I hope they drop leather strips and then I'll come back and I'll make that ring okay and that is how you make legendary gear and is there any particular piece of gear you're trying to get hold of that you're trying to make? Okay. Yes, I have. I need some, and I want to make the legendary gear, but I I don't have. But what? Uh, all of what gear? I need one. Yeah, what gear are you trying? What, what, which which particular okay. gear? Uh, Can you remember? Um. Opal, opal, opal. Opal isn't gear. Opal is a gem. Gem. You don't need. Opal is a gem. It's not gear. Okay. Opal isn't in your forge. Yeah. Gem. You'll find opal in your workshop. Okay. And again, it involves fusing. But your gems is what goes into your gear to gives you a boost. Okay. Um, so let me see. Uh, topaz is resource yielding gear, um, gems. Okay, so I'm going to make some topaz. I'll fuse that. Okay, and then hopefully I'll have enough. You see, there's opal there. That's yes. for cavalry and it's just for offense. Yeah, you, that's nothing to do with gear. Okay. So don't get gems and runes confused with gear. Thank they you. go together. But there you are. There's my topaz. I'm going to make a legendary topaz. Normally I wouldn't because I want to do my Helheim stuff, but I'm doing this for you. So now so, I go okay, back to where, my where gear I, that I... Where I can I find the uh, sub file? File, yes. Sapphire, Sapphire is Just, also a gem. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. I'll show you something in a minute. Let me just show you what you do with gems. Okay. I just made a piece of gear. Yeah. You saw me make it. So it'll be in my stock and I've not gemmed it up yet. Okay. So um, let's pretend I just made the helmet because I like to do these. Okay. So this slot is empty. Topaz, resource yielding speed. And I explained to you that this is resource yielding gear. 10% for this helmet. And now, by adding a topaz gem, my resource yielding speed is now 17%. I've added the 7% from the topaz legendary gem into the gear. Now, what you can also do is you can add lower level. With gear, you have to have legendary. With the gems, you can use them without it being legendary. So there's an emerald, which is energy restoration. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and I can put that in because I can remove it later with a gem. Don't do this. Don't crush any gems. But I can remove it with a knife. Okay, and then I can build it again, uh, make it a better gem later. What you can't do with gear is destroy it and get all the materials back. You only get one material back. You don't even get to choose which material. And that's why you go for legendary at the beginning. But with your gems, with your runes, you can put them in, you can take them out, you can improve them. Your gear must be legendary, okay? Okay, yes, yes, okay. Okay, so okay. gems and runes improve your gear. That's all they do. And your gems are in your workshop and your runes are in, oh gosh, what do they call it? The other workshop. <laughs> okay, there you are, the rune workshop. So you've got your gem workshop here and your rune workshop here. Runes are quite expensive. For shaman, isn't it? Rune workshop, it's for shaman, runes, right? Ru yeah, your runes are for your shaman, but there's also a slot in your hero gear. The final slot in the four slots is for a rune, and that can be the difference between winning and losing. OK, so don't ignore that. But they do take a long time to get. OK, uh, again, put them in when you get them up to rare or um, epic and take them out and improve them as you get better runes. OK, so what gear are you trying to make? now mm. okay i want to make the the helmet first one the helmet for what okay there's a lot of helmets which one the one what we called it uh guardsman guardsman helmet. aha okay so for invader gear okay we yes. call that invader gear okay so yeah. um okay. if we have a look at the hero yeah, this one, yeah? Yes, 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 I know. This yes, one. that's the one. Okay, so your guardsman helmet comes off the Royal Guardsman and I think Avarin Ubers. That's the gear. So you need to look for Royal Guardsman. Royal. Okay, welcome to Snack Chat 381. Um just a quick recording because I was showing somebody where to find legendary materials, how to build legendary gear. And I think we mentioned the chiefs. Um, these are the Uber Invader chiefs. And one of them's cropped up today, the Longobard chief, which is great excitement abounds everywhere. Uh, just let me show the chief. There he is, Longobard Chief. That's how you know. Rest of them, they're just, uh, let me show you, just Longobards. Longobard, Longobard. But here we have Longobard Chief. Okay, let me return to my town. So, what does that mean? Well, I think it's best if I show you because it doesn't mean quite what you might think it means. <laughs> What can I say? Let me just make sure I don't show anything I shouldn't. Uh, bear with me a second. So I started hitting them. Oh, I'll show you my setup first so you know that I'm being fair to Plari Bugs. So my setup is um, all good Royal Guardsman Invader gear, all legendary with, I added a full tank of energy. Um, and I got the call out from a, a person in common chat that the Longobard chief was here and I thought okay I've done this before <laughs> underwhelmed but let's give it a go uh, again hmm. a glutton for punishment maybe I don't know so bear with me and I'll show you what's happened so far the story to date so okay I was Merrily hitting ghosts, and I banished an abyss guard, and then I saw the call out, Longobard Chief, Longobard Chief's here. Ooh, excitement. So I started attacking. Okay. Oh, right. Hmm. Not very exciting, really, is it? Um, but 
<laughs> let's see does it get better okay so let's go to the next one okay but mm, unusual oak planks let's see what else unusual leather trim ah usual bare bones hmm oh gold 35 pieces thank you so much three hour boost one three hour boost now here's the problem each time i'm landing a hit i'm using up 2906 <laughs> units of energy okay one critical hit critical hit gets me one three hour boost wow color me underwhelmed so next hit 55 gold same thing yeah 2906 bits of energy units of energy vip points yeah thanks i'm sure i might need them again one day when they put up i don't know vip 150 um oh more vip points thanks more vip points oh and more and oh ah a rare piece of durable leather and more vip points and that's where i've got to okay so i thought i'm going to record this just so i can warn people not to be too excited when these guys arrive okay so the story so far that was let's go back to our longabar chief there he is in all his glory 86.06 percent life left okay even though one of our big players i'm not a big player here um even though one of our big players has been killing him he's still got 86 percent of his energy left and this is why so you go in you've seen my setup my hero setup oh and if you don't believe me i'll show you again bear with me a second because i don't want to show anything i shouldn't okay so there you go hero setup beautiful lovely yep nothing changed there okay so let's get back to this mr longabard there he is you click on him just like normal and you've got normal attack okay now i'm at 195 percent as you saw i've been already hitting him a bit so keep going normal attack and there he is so oh still 86.06 percent so each attack like tickles him he's like <laughs> he goes so let's not close the window each time we'll keep doing normal attacks Ah, da, 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 da. see what happens normal attack 86.06 so you get the idea you're not going to make any dents in him for a while um i could fast forward but maybe you want to see what he's getting okay okay so i'll keep going Okay, that was chainmail scrap rare. At least it's a piece of material I might need one day. Okay, another VIP point. I'll show you the um, reports in a minute. Uh, rough bristle, epic. Oh, rough bristle, rough bristle. Not rough bristol, rough bristle. <laughs> Slight Freudian slip. Oak planks rare. Okay, so I'm up to 330%. 345 so it's the same but if you notice he's still on 86.06 percent even though i'm up to 345 percent attack bonus so i'm not really making many inroads on this beast yeah rare beasts and where to find them rare longobard chiefs and where to find them so keep going oh gosh this is embarrassing isn't it hey I mean, maybe I, what I could do is put on a, um, oh, let me just close that. Maybe I could put on a hero shaman, a uh, hero offense. There it is. So I've got quite a few. So I'll, I'll, I'll buff one away, 20%. Let's see if that helps because this is going to be so long otherwise. So still 86 points. Let's see what my super duper boost does. Ooh. Mm. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh 55 pieces of gold wow 
I'm going to be able to buy some. What can I buy with 55 pieces of gold in Plarium? Oh, Claw Epic. Okay, maybe that's better. So I'm at 450% now. 135 VIP points. <laughs> uh, oh, Steel Plates Epic. So I'm getting some more Epic. That's not so bad. But am I getting any more? Premium Task Refresher. Wow, one. One Premium Task Refresher. Oh, Leather Trim Rare. So... Yeah, it's just as random as every other Uber. Has he gone down? Oh, look, 0.05%. So I've knocked off 0.01% from his energy. Wow. Okay, so this is what next happens. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hero's Keys, 10. I actually don't need any Hero Keys. My Hero's at max, look. So again, more stuff. Maybe I'll need it. A few years down the line when we go to Hero 100. It's going to happen. Come on. Uh, short Shaft Epic. Uh, I'll prove this in a minute once we get up to that. Okay, I'm at 585%. So you know what I'm going to go for, 600. Let's just have a quick look at the reports just to show you I'm telling you the truth. Um, let me just resize that so you get the full glory okay where were we we were oh gosh hang on uh we were down here weren't we the last one we read oh sure more quite a few hits okay that was the last one we read let's have a look so as you can see gold gold always believe in your soul you've got the power to know you're indestructible well this guy's indestructible okay let's go through 90 one 15 hour boost. Ooh. One. Well, okay. Bear Grease Epic. That's not so bad. Okay. You're getting the idea. So you get materials. You get gems. Are you getting legendary materials? Are you getting legendary gems? Not so much. In fact, not one. So don't get too excited. Let's quickly zoom through so you can see it's mostly. Um, a mixture of unusual rare. At least it hasn't thrown a simple at me. The worst one was usual. Okay, really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, more useless. I mean, gold's not useless, but that amount of gold, you can't even buy a penny chew. Keys I don't need. Uh, maybe you do need them, but 10, that's not going to get you. Okay, to the end, there's no more. Okay, so yes, I'm going to do it just to show you. I'm going to use that 600%, uh, sorry, 600% boost. So one more normal attack. There it is. Do you get more than that maybe? Because these guys are so tough. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Nope, <laughs> that's it. You get the same maximum um bonus for attacks for a string of attacks as you do on a normal uber so what's going to happen when i hit him with an enhanced attack well it'll be 130 hits which will take up pretty much my whole uh energy that's left so maybe i need to max out my energy let's give my i'm really messing about here but there we go let's just i've got some energy to spare oh it's gonna hurt this there you go well i got some free stuff the other day with the maintenance so okay so my maximum 499,000. A tank takes 500,000. It'll give me 172 hits. Let's see what I get. <sighs> Deep breath. Click. Ooh. Okay. Then, look, you see, it's all gone. <laughs> all of it. All of it gone. So you, you've got to do the whole thing. Then you've got to go to the 600%. Then you've got to have a full tank. And I guess this is why people are going for these things. Yeah, but let's have a look. So we had that, which was a resource production, really? At only 50%. <laughs> okay, I, I shouldn't mock. Okay. Oh, I did get one legendary steel plate. And then I went for the big one. So let's see what I got. Um... 
epic resource yielding speed. Don't actually need them, but maybe I'll need them for that stupid gravy thingy. Short shaft epic, garnet epic, rough bristle, bristle. I want to say bristle, rough bristle epic. Sorry, bristle. Chainmail scrap epic. Okay, durable leather legendary two pieces. Ah, that's maybe worth having because materials are like gold dust now. Uh, resource production. Oh, 100%. Yay. Um, cavalry health. Mm, I think I might actually need that one. Not sure. I'll have to check, but that might actually be worthwhile. <laughs> Worth it now. <laughs> it's nice. These aren't going to help me, by the way, for the um, fusing gems. The only ones that will help for the fusing gems achievement thing is these ones because you have to fuse up to legendary if you remember anyway uh gold oh 1540 pieces of gold let's go down um reduced enemy defense always welcome bronze don't need any oh rare mm, thanks almondine cavalry health yeah maybe that'll be helpful for uh merging rune uh, not runes are they gems uh, manuscripts don't need any. Ranged offence. I'm not ranged, so that's only going to be useful at some point if I get that gem to be fused. Uh, VIP points don't need any. Uh, rare hmm. plates. Yeah, maybe at some point. Fine leather. Boar pile. So you can see there is the chance of getting legendary, but not guaranteed so let's see what else have we got let's look at the legendary resource yielding <laughs> i got them coming out my ears uh stone production don't need it cliff rock oh, i need that second chance cheers 20 percent reduced enemy health 20 percent really who uses them nobody uses them okay uh here is energy 500 one well you saw how much i used it's not really going to pay me back much is it uh marching speed up if you haven't got plunderer do you bother uh let's have a look white sand legendary hmm. so some epics but mostly ones and twos some legendaries which might be useful for creating the upgraded gear if it's the stuff i need i've not found much use for the legendary gear from I think that's the man eater isn't it I don't think I have that particular need at the moment maybe it'll come in in the future uh, more 24 hour greed oh something noodly oh personal task refresher it's noodling a lot now it's obviously maybe they know I'm streaming <laughs> oh they don't like this 1000 VIP points yay I only had to spend how many thousand was it to get that? And a peace treaty for three days. Nobody trusts them, Plarium. Oh, and some mystery legendary. Let's have a look. Bear Grease and Morganite, Scout Defense. Oh, I might need that one. That's okay. That's okay. More hero keys I don't need. So there's a lot of rubbish in there. I mean, honestly, for the amount I just spent just to make this video, I'm a bit sad. But I guess this... Is, I mean, look, 499,832 units of energy and I got 1,500 back. <laughs> the generosity. It's astounding. Yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, no, that's right. Maybe I could buy some energy with the gold they gave me. How much energy does that buy? Not a lot. So don't get overexcited when the Longobard Chiefs turn up unless you're in an awful hurry. And you've got a lot of energy and you've got a big fat wallet where you can keep buying lots of energy. Then it is a shortcut to getting legendary materials. But make sure you know what legendary materials you need for the gear you want to upgrade. And you can find that out on Vikings Help. OK, it does have it. Just look at the gear, scroll right down and they've actually added which bits you need to upgrade your gear. Most people are doing Uber and their main attack. Some people are also adding scouting, but it gets so expensive, I would concentrate on one 
gear at a time. You get up to level three gear, you can get 100%. You need to keep going to Helheim to get the flames. Above level three, then you're starting to gamble and you're gambling all these materials you've just spent all that energy on. And you've got, I think it goes from a 90% chance to 75%. And I have seen grown men weep because they've gambled nine times for level seven gear and they've lost like nine times in a row. You do not want to know how many materials that is. So basically, the longer my chief is for people who are desperate to get their gear upgraded and don't mind gambling all that energy and can keep buying and loading tanks full of energy. Most of the people I know who play the game do not play at that level. So we're going to always be falling behind, I'm afraid now, because that's the way the game has gone. I always say to people, get your account. If you enjoy the game and you like playing it, get your account to a place where you're comfortable playing, fighting, farming, whichever, whatever floats your boat and stick at that level. Because once you're getting up to the top levels, 35, then this is what you're facing. This kind of to keep up with the big guys, you're going to be spending an awful amount of time. And really to keep up, you're going to need to spend an awful amount of money. It's not cheap. It is pay to win. It always has been. I'm still playing, but I'm sticking at my comfortable ish level of 32 and I don't see myself going any higher maybe to 33 just so I can get the tier 7 troops but this upgrading gear beyond level 3 I don't think I'm going to be joining in I can't afford it thanks Plarium so that's it uh, I'll be playing this uh, in YouTube and you might agree with me you might not it's up to people whether they pay that money it's up to them fine good luck to them but I just spent all that and I feel a bit depressed because I don't think I even got a full percent certainly no way to score in competition by the way killing these things anyway good luck to me no name <laughs> you'll probably be coming along in an hour or two and seeing it's still down to 85 percent um, I'm not sure how long he's got um does it say time left no that's my 600 percent. doesn't say how long he's going to be around for but i think once this chief's gone then you have to wait for another one or um they're only here for today so you know if you want them you're gonna to have to go and get them now let's see uh how long is he here for oh let's have a look uh you can find when they're here in here this let's see oh there it, yeah there he is the ubers does it show the oh yeah uber invader chief so you've got eight hours 28 minutes guys <laughs> get your tanks start hitting keep a packet of tissues by you <laughs> because you might need them to mop up the tears and don't get the tears in your keyboard okay <laughs> okay so why are people going after lots of materials uh if you go to vikings help dot vikings dot help i should say uh you'll find out why and it's to do with special equipment so depending on your troop type main troop type i hope you've only got one maximum two uh you might have this special equipment already made and most people are concentrating at the moment on the other equipment which is for pop and towers and siege and if you have a look at some of this special equipment in vikings.help you'll see little arrows and you'll see the same in your account if you have that equipment and it means it can be upgraded beyond legendary okay not every piece of equipment can but some of it can okay and none of the invader equipment can none of it's got the arrow yet <laughs> <laughs> give them time uh, but let's have a look at the one most people are going for which is other so we click on the item okay and it shows you hero level how long it takes hopefully 
doesn't take that long because most people just use gold. Uh, which slot it is, it's an amulet, this particular one, but there's of course the helmet and everything else that goes with it. The um, armor, boots, weapon, and the two of these, two veggies, which is really bad news, you'll see why in a minute. Okay, that's the materials you need to make that gear, all legendary of course. And you need materials to make those materials. You've done all that. You've done all the stuff. You've got this lovely, shiny veggie vizier. Oh, how do you say that? Veggie vizier. Why, did I, why didn't I just choose the helmet? Anyway, <laughs> then comes the bad news. You get that arrow up here. Okay. So upgrading equipment. So this is beyond legendary. And there are at the moment nine levels. Ouch. So. To upgrade Beyond Legendary, you need this first, Helheim Fire. You get that through going through the floors in Helheim. So you're probably already down in the dungeons doing that. Good luck if you've done level 10. Well done. I'm not even close. But I still want to upgrade my equipment. And I can, as long as I've got the Helheim Fire. So for the first level, you need 1,500 Helheim Fire. And you also need these materials. Part standard... Part Invader Materials. It's not so bad, level one. Yeah, 10 granite, standard material, 10 hide, four broken quivers, four torn cloths. And you can find out where you get them from. I think broken quiver is, you can get it from Longobard, I think. Or was it? I don't know. Anyway, you can find out. And as long as you've got those, you can upgrade your special equipment to level one. Now, you can gamble. Okay, which means you use more or less Helheim fire. And if you use all the Helheim fire, you get a 100% chance of success. So those materials don't get wasted. And this is the bonus you get. You get like an added um, percentage to your attack, defense, fortress. Okay, which is quite handy to have if you're doing a lot of pop death or if you want to run siege towers, if you've got a level four stronghold. Um, and if you want to attack pop, of course, it's not just defending, it's offense as well. Um, and also in fury for towers. So it's a very useful piece of equipment. Level two gets a little bit more expensive on Hellhound Fire and materials, but still not undoable. And nice, uh, nice bonuses as well. Plus the added bonuses, there's no addition to your overall influence. So you're getting all these extra bonuses and no warning to your enemy that you've got it because there's no added influence. Hmm. Again, you get a 70 to 100 percent chance depending on whether you're willing or if you have enough Helheim fire. Now, of course, if you go for 70 percent and fail, you've lost those materials, but it's not so bad, is it? Level three. Getting more expensive on Hellheim Fire. That's a lot of time spent in the dungeons. More materials, more invader materials. Still 70 to 100% chance. And if you spend all that Hellheim Fire, 7,860, you've got 100%. And then this is where the real mess arrives. If you want to upgrade your special gear over level three, you're going to have to start gambling. And you're gambling for those materials. Remember, this is legendary. Nothing else will do. You have to have legendary. So that's a lot of granite, a lot of hide, a lot of broken quivers and a lot of torn cloth. The maximum you can get for 11,520 bits of Helheim fire is 95% chance of upgrading. That's it. So the lowest you can do it at is 65%, which means you've still got to have those materials, but you can use less Helheim fire. If you fail, you've lost those materials, legendary materials. And it goes on. And the further up you go, the less chance you have of actually succeeding. So you've got a 95% chance for that much Helheim fire. Only a 90% chance for that much, which means if you fail, you lose that many legendary materials. I'll go on. Level 6, 85% chance going down. But the Hellheim Fire is going up, and so is the amount of legendary materials you're going to need 
to even attempt. Eventually, you're getting the story, you're getting the idea. You've probably read ahead. Level nine, you get a 70% maximum chance. 29,520 Helheim fire. Do you want to spend your life down in the dungeon? 599 legendary granite, 599 legendary hide, 51 legendary broken quivers, 51 legendary torn cloth. Okay, really nice bonuses, but this is your gamble. You lose, that's starting all over again, killing ubers, killing invaders, going for those fantastic uber chiefs which a lot of people are forced to do because that is a lot of materials now to get these materials you're probably okay just doing it through tasks okay so you can do it these hmm it's going to take you a while and if you lose at this level well that's why i said have a little pocket handkerchief by you or a little packet of uh, tissues because you're going to need them to mop up your tears and that is the same for every piece of gear so let's go back let's find another bit of ubba got to scroll down on vikings help to find the special stuff oh let's have a see um ubba's boots that's much easier to say let's go down and you'll see up to level nine now this time it's old belt and durable leather lead and steel so each piece of gear needs different materials which is kind of good because if they were all the same it would be just ah but even so it's a lot and you're only ever going to have a maximum 70 percent chance once you get to the upper levels so now you know why people are hitting those uber chiefs even though they're very expensive because to get this many materials of invader materials that's a lot of invaders that's a lot of ubers there you go um <laughs> it's up to you <laughs> but i I'm going to level three and I'm probably going to stop there until I've got millions of this stuff because I won't mind if I waste it then. But if I'm doing that when I've only got that many and I lose, I'm just not going to be able to cope mentally. And the game is meant to be fun and it's meant to make me feel good. I don't think it's meant to make me feel suicidal. I really don't. So be careful before you go up there. Anyway. Now, the upside of this, um, as has been pointed out to me, is with these chiefs, if you've got the energy and you've got the gold to buy energy and you can go after them, you can actually make this gear much more quickly. OK, so lots of you will have the gear, but the upgrades, they're going to take time, luck and a lot of money. <laughs> ka <-ching. laughs> OK, so. It's not just all about materials. A lot of people are hitting these uber chiefs for gems or as Vikings help us put it, stones. It does make it sound very exciting, does it? I want a stone. No, I want a gem. Anyway, you need legendary gems for your gear, of course, because it gives you advantages. However, you also need these legendary gems in ever increasing amounts in order to do what's called Bifrost, and you've probably seen if you're on the boards a lot, you've probably seen people going, Have you got Bifrost 1? Bifrost 2? Bifrost 3? There are YouTube videos of how people have got Bifrost. So, lots of achievements to be done. Those achievements give you gold. You need to do the achievements. You'll probably get most of them, a couple of them, maybe not. I mean, I think there are, can't be that many people who are going to get the uh, King of the North, for example. <laughs> Certainly not me. OK, not even going to try. <laughs> anyway, maybe one day. <laughs> no, I don't think so. So the one that's got everybody really tearing their hair out now, um, it used to be Pioneer, didn't it? And then uh, it was, yeah, <laughs> Wolf of Jotunheim. Uh, it's not, not, no, then it was White Wolf. Nobody could figure it out. Now it's Conqueror of Bifrost. But luckily, with a bit of um, cooperation between people, people have 
figured out how to get Conqueror of Bifrost. Uh, I've even got level one myself. Woohoo! But this is the big but. There's always a big but. In order to get Conqueror of Bifrost, you need legendary gems. And the first one was easy because you only needed five garnet. OK, and you just needed um, to drop your shield. So these gems, you can't just use your simple. It's not like those little rings. You have to make legendary gems. And it's all laid out for you in Vikings Help. There's a lot of disinformation out there. But it's it's in flux, shall we say. Um, keep an eye on the message boards. And be careful what you're told, because at the beginning of this, people were putting up sh um, shields for like a year and then dropping them and then complaining they didn't get it. You've got to do it in the right order. And the order is combine the required number of stones to legendary. OK, so when it says Garnet 5, it means five legendary Garnets. And then wear a shield for the required number of weeks. And here it's two weeks, two lots of peace treaty, seven days. But I think you can make it up with eight hours or days. Just got to be two weeks. Then you have to drop the shield by attacking another town. And then when you've done that, put the shield back up. Three hours later, you should have Bifrost level one. It worked for me. You'll get three million gold and you'll get, more importantly, in my opinion, the 2% total offence bonus. Then, as ever, we're going to go up the levels. You need 10 legendary opal for the next one and you need to drop five weeks of shield. Now, it is cumulative, but the bad news is that when they brought in Conqueror of Bifrost, it didn't matter how many legendary gems you had made before, you were starting from scratch. So if you were like me and always getting your gems um, up to their highest level in order to decrease lag and lumping around millions of simple gems, you're kind of a bit messed up because some people didn't bother doing that and they've been able to get way ahead by combining their gems. Um, if you're tidy like me, you probably went, ah, oh, no. Anyway, <laughs> so I'm still collecting opals, but I don't play the game 24-7, so it's going to take me a while. Don't be in a hurry. Sadly, it gets worse. 25 topaz next, 10 weeks of shield. The shields, it's okay. The, the gems, really? 25 legendary topaz. I am not looking forward to that. And then it gets worse. Topaz are reasonably easy to find. Peridot, not too bad. That's the one for your um, hero. You might have some lying around. You can pick them up quite easily. Just check which uh, invaders you need. And you can do tasks as well to get some of these. The opal one, etc. I think it's the premier tasks. Yeah, uh, the personal ones not, but the third one, the premiere. So you need to have your VIP on to do this. Euclays, can you remember how long it took you to get one legendary Euclays for your training gear set? And that means also that, you know, you're going to be, oh, do I, do I do them all at once or do I do them bit by bit? You have to trust that Plarium's doing this cumulative and get the benefit of the Euclays because it, it reduces your training costs, your training time. 25 weeks of shield. Next one, Indicolite. That's the building gem. Again, how long did it take you to get one? Yep, now you're going to have to get 30 of them. And the last one, Tafferite. 100. Now, if you notice this last two, there is a question mark by them and the question mark by the peace treaty that you have the peace the shields you have to lose okay so when there's a question mark it means it's still a little bit unknown because I'll tell you what not enough people have done it to know for sure and it's cumulative so it's a very difficult thing to track so what you've got to do is wait for that to become not a question mark or just go for it and report in and say whether you had success or not 
you're not losing anything if it fails. Just keep going, do more indicolite and keep the peace shields until you've got more indicolite. And when you think you might have enough, drop your shield with 50 weeks, 60 weeks. It's a lot of shield, but for the bonuses, yeah, it's worth it if you're a fighter. Total offence, 20% at the end. Very nice, very, very nice. <laughs> but, and you get gold as well. Remember, you get your reward of gold as well. Um, however, you also have to be a certain palace level. So, as you know, I'm a 32. It means I am going to have to go up to 33. But I'll tell you what, I'm not going to have to do it until I get quite a way up here it's going to take me a long time I think my best advice is don't be in a hurry and again I I will say don't feel pushed to go above the palace level that you can maintain um, a lot of people feel pushed to go up to 35 and then they find they can't maintain that level with troops etc and they end up being level 35 farmers or giving up the game so don't feel pushed to go up above these levels um, if you can't maintain these higher level palaces just stick at where you're comfortable and having fun in the game as I always say to the people I bring into the game play the game don't let the game play you Laters.